5,625 pounds, Rockwood 2604 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is actually its third time here at Haylet RV. We are the original selling dealer of this RV to the original owner, obviously. Uh, they traded it back in after a couple seasons to get something larger. The second owners bought it here three years ago. They used it once a year for the past three years. That's three times if you're doing the math. I'm not a math magician, but I think you're keeping up. And they just kind of discovered that the camping lifestyle wasn't for them. Um, it's got a couple little things here and there, nothing that really concerns me. I'll point those out as we go. I think that if you looked at a used automobile of this age, it'd have a couple little things with it as well, but likely nothing major. It's kind of in the same vein. Overall, I don't expect this to last long. This is a lightweight, pretty sharp little couple's camper that's less than 30 feet tip to tail. There's definitely a lot of campers out there that have a really similar layout and design to the Rockwood 2604, but two of the primary feathers in its cap. First is the fact that tip to tail, it is less than 30 feet in length. Now they had to do some things to make it that way. It does have a short camp queen. You do have to move those rear recliner chairs to uh, close the slide out, but the fact remains, uh, you know, it is a uh, under 30 foot tip to tail tongued bumper trailer. And as you can clearly see here, you can fully access this RV, whether it's in transit, at a travel stop, or in storage. And those are two really clutch factors that not all rear living rooms, uh, you know, bring to market, so to speak. Overall inside here, she appears to be in pretty good shape. There's a couple little things where there might be like a little, I don't know, bump on a cabinet. But there's, like, I'm, I'm not seeing any big major problems. I'm not locating big time damage, anything like that. Um, we'll come back to the kitchen in just a minute. Over here in the living room, there would normally be two chairs right here. Uh, the chair that would be on the right hand side is not here anymore. Uh, the previous owner simply didn't like wrestling with it and they took it out. So they, just the two of them, they didn't need it. They just had the one and they had that little, you know, end table with the lamp built into it right there. Um, above though, you can see we've got a big picture window and there are dual section day and night shades in this camper, uh, providing you with as much light or privacy or in between as you prefer. Up top, you'll find central air, and what's cool is Rockwood always has double air duct runs, and their vents are uh, capable of both uh, turning and closing, so you can always control where you want that air. We'll get up on the roof at the end of the video, but this does have a max air vent cover up here, so that, uh, well, Camco technically, but a roof vent cover, so you can always get some good anytime airflow. Classic Rockwood doing Rockwood things, they've got that full storage overhead in the slide, which is not a new thing in the RV business. Frankly, it's quite classic, but a lot of manufacturers have stopped doing it. Um, they can save weight and save money by not including cabinetry right there. But Rockwood says, forget that. We're a little bit less price sensitive. We're a little bit smarter built. So they have those nicer things. Now that is one of the airbed style hide beds And with my experience in this business, what I would tell you, what is safe to assume, is assume that the couch is in fine shape, because it appears to be, but also assume that there is no air mattress currently included with the camper. That being said, for less than 20 bucks, you can go to any big box store of your choice and get the bed that works for you. Originally, this table would have faced east-west. Somebody's flipped it perpendicular to face north-south. Evidently, they just like the way that that faced out the windows better. The good news is, it's very easy to turn. Obviously, you can turn it whichever way you would like to. All the original electronics appear to be here, present and accounted for. Let me move the bathroom door so you can see it. Up top, oh wow, they even have the uh, original XM uh, radio module still in place. Uh, this is only like the second or third time in my career I've ever seen one of those still with the camper when it came back in. That's awesome. So uh, this Rockwood was, has always been ahead of the curve in their entertainment. This was one of the first generations of like Bluetooth DVD players when everybody else was still just, um, you know, just a stereo or maybe a DVD if you were lucky. And again, all the original factory electronics like the TV is still there. I also said we'd come back to the kitchen. Let me take a step back. They don't really do a lot of it in the RV business anymore, but having this um, sort of peninsula upper cabinet was a very common thing to maximize kitchen storage, but more and more people felt that it was very intrusive. So it is a feature that you don't tend to find much in the business. 
This was the cherry wood tone that Rockwood offered. It does have a cherry hardwood raised panel cabinet door. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry as well. And this was built with the matching raised panel refrigerator doors. Right down below that would be what you'd call in a house your circuit breaker, but in a camper it's your converter fuse box. And you also have a simple little uh, plunger style battery disconnect down there. It's not fancy, but it's exceptionally effective because things like that stereo, things like the, uh, the circuit panels in your water heater and in your refrigerator, um, they will always slowly trickle draw some 12 volt power. Um, quick note, uh, power outlets right there for easy kitchen access. That's something that is often difficult to find in laminated trailers. Moving up to the bathroom. I like the little door stopper on the bottom of the door also so it doesn't smash into anything. Conventional walkthrough middle bathroom. A lot of folks prefer a separate private bath, but this walkthrough middle bathroom is the feature that makes this RV fully travel accessible without having to go outside because that's yet another layer of how hard do we boil down travel accessibility. There's plenty of campers that we offer at Halet RV that are in fact fully travel accessible, but many of them you do have to go out the main door into the bedroom door from outside to, to do it. This one you don't, as you saw earlier, obviously. Max air vent fan up here, something Rockwood's been doing for years to give you that superior airflow. You do have a sliding pocket privacy door up here for the bedroom. There is another of those Camco roof vent covers above the master bed in that vent up there so I can get some pretty good airflow. I wonder whose legs those are walking past. <laughs> I wonder sometimes if people know if they're on camera or not. I don't think they do. Dual hanging side stands, you know, uh, or dual hanging closets and, uh, with a single side stand on this side for CPAP friendliness, although you will notice that both sides of the bed do have uh, stands. This one just has a taller, longer wardrobe. Now, uh, the only other thing to kind of mention is on both sides of the bedroom, you'll find a pair of these handy little uh, hanging hooks the previous owners put up, and you are set if you do want to put a little TV against the wall over here. And I will give the most recent owners all the credit in the world. In my experience, of which I have quite a bit now in this business, when somebody doesn't use their camper, they typically neglect their RV and they let it kind of fall into a state of disrepair. And that could not be further from the truth on this one. We're also going to take a jaunt up to the roof to take a peek at that, but the skin, the decals, everything on this looks pretty good. You might have noticed the power awning, the power tongue jack. This was made when Rockwood was still doing a front window, but they were really one of the last of the Mohicans when a lot of brands stopped doing this. Um, you know, Rockwood had always included that front window, but they put that weather shield on it. Speaking of weather shield, I'm weather shielding the camera with my hand right now because we're starting to get spritzed on. But just to give you a glance, they obviously kept this thing protected from the sun, cleaned, conditioned, beautiful, shiny. Um, you know, you got slide side breeze windows, four wheel independent suspension systems so that this thing handles well on corners. And I'm going to break real quick, join you on the back side of the trailer and clean off the camera lens. So I do hope you folks appreciate the effort. It is cold, it is wet, but we are dedicated individuals down here and, you know, weather be darned, show must go on. So one of the big calling cards of this floor plan is just the huge amount of windows in the living room, especially that big back window overlooking those pair of recliners. Rockwood doing Rockwood things is a phrase that I use all the time now, but you know, they've been doing those things for longer than I've been saying that phrase. Things like the nicer ABS shell cover on the spare tire right there to help keep that thing, you know, uh, from, you know, being eaten up by the sun. You do have dual entry doors here. So uh, even though you can sneak through the RV with the slide closed, as you saw at the beginning of the video, you don't really have to. It does allow for a quick little dual access. You do have an outside grilling station here. I've not located an RVQ grill, so I think at this point it is better for you to assume that there is one no longer with this RV. And I did also notice that the uh, tires here are in great shape. I don't see anything there. They haven't aged out. There's no harsh degradation, weathering, anything like that. Um, oh, one other little bump that I spotted. I forgot it was the back handle. Something, don't know what, pinched the uh the door handle right here now that being said it's obviously not stopping that thing from functioning whatsoever to me that's kind of the same sort of equivalence of if you bought a used car and there was a bump on a bumper or a hood or you get the idea it's just a little visible blemish it's nothing that really hurts the camper it's nothing that stops it from working it just is there now if we are willing to go to the links to show you a small dent on an entry door handle 
obviously we are willing to go to some pretty great lengths to show you anything. I can't find I can't find anything significant wrong with the camper. A couple little nudges here and there. That's it, guys. If you're okay with a couple little nudges for saving a lot of money off of a brand new price tag on a nice little, very lightweight, potentially big SUV towable, let alone half ton towable couples camper, then give us a call. And I will say I am very happy with what I see up here on the roof. Pardon my little boot prints back here. That's my fault. Other than that, uh, especially given the time of year it is, most used RVs that come in this time of year, there's a good layer of grime on top of them that, uh, you know, just accumulates over the storage period. But what I'm seeing up here is very obvious signs of active preventative care and upkeep. Uh, like look around the skylight, for instance. Um, you can see the darker seal sections. Those are the original factory seals, the light colored stuff. That's the uh, touch-up spot sealant that the folks were putting on it. That means this has been kept correctly. Now, I've seen two spots where there's a little patch applied to the roof right here, and that doesn't really concern me because what this, again, indicates is that this RV was very well monitored and very well maintained. As soon as the owners thought maybe they had to get up here for something, they obviously did it, and they obviously performed the necessary repairs to prevent damage. And that's the thing. This was not a patch that was done after they had a leak. This is a patch that was applied before they had a problem. So this is proactive care and maintenance. This is what you want to see in an RV. Now both your master bedroom as well as your living room have had a pair of uh, Camco vent covers applied to them so that you can use them, you know, on a kind of drizzly day, sort of like it is today. I'm kind of dodging raindrops right now. I've actually got a couple on my spectacles as we speak. I like that word, spectacles, anyway. Uh, but uh, short of that, I, I think you get the idea. You know, fully walkable, it's been maintained. Um, it needs a chair. That's, that's the worst I can say. This camper needs a chair. <laughs> it just really hasn't been used a whole lot. And unfortunately, you know, but short of that, guys, we can do anything you need. Uh, obviously, we got this huge service center over here that we can take care of anything. We're actually going through and just doing a quick double check on some items on this RV before it goes out for general sale. I just had a chance to run back here with the camera and, and do a little capturing. So short of that, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.